Hello everyone. Today I would like to share a topic that is how to connect one actual Omron NX PLC to SysMic Studio. From previous video, we shown how to download SysMic Studio from Omron website. So in this video, I will show how to connect one actual controller using SysMic Studio. So if you are one electrical programmer and every time if you go to one plant try to connect the existing controllers so the first step you need to open your SysMic Studio try to connect one existing controller so in this video I will show how to do this let's do a quick review the SysMic Studio this software can connect and program Omro NX701 NG1, NG3, NG5, NX102, and NX1P controllers. So in most middle and lower end machine system, uh, NX102 and NX1P are very popular. And in higher end machine system, NG1, NG3, NG5 are common used. So let me show how to use SysMac Studio to connect them. So let's open SysMac Studio software. Uh, other than the open project or create a new project, we try to connect one existing controller. So we can select this, connect to device. And this page will pop up. So firstly, we can select which device you try to connect. It's a controller or server drive system or one safety network controller. So we will try to connect one normal controller. So I select a controller. There are four ways to connect a controller. Uh, basically two main ways use a USB cable or use the Ethernet cable. Most of controller they all have a Ethernet port. So we will try to use the Ethernet cable to connect with a controller. But we found this, uh, there are two selections. One is direct connection via Ethernet. One is uh, Ethernet connection via one hub. So we know if there is one existing controller, uh, they must have already built in or configured IP address in this controller. But if we just uh, arrived in one plan and try to connect one existing controller. So maybe we don't know the IP address in this controller. So because you know the Omron device or Omron controller, they, they are one black box. So there's no, no display for that. For uh, Siemens uh, S7-1500, uh, this controller have one display in this controller. So you can navigate IP address using this display, or uh, the Allen Bradley MicroLogic 1400 uh, and uh, Control Logic's uh, Ethernet card, they all have a one small display. But for this Omron devices or Omron controller, they don't have uh, the display on this uh, controller. But that's fine; it doesn't matter. So if you already know this IP address, we can type in the IP address from here from here and if this is an actual IP address uh, you find it for example from find it from drawings or from the uh, lemma code you can connect and the software will try to find the device with this IP address but most of time if you want programming working on site most of time you don't know the actual IP address or you cannot remember the IP address in this controller. So more easier way is we can select direct connection via Ethernet. So using this way, we can use one cable, use your laptop, a P2P connect with this uh, controller. After select this, direct connect with this controller and hit the connect. It will browse the PLC is communicating. So it finds one actual controller. So now we are 
online communicating with one actual PLC here. So now we are online communicating with the PLC. So next things we will upload the program from this PLC. And with the current selection, we, we, see, we can see this checkbox. If it's checked with this word, that means we, we just want to upload the program. We won't upload the hardware configuration. Because check means do not transfer. So from now, we upload the program now. So we can see this, um, all the actual controller, all the program in this controller, we uploaded. This is the online PLC IP address. The online IP address, that is a 192.168.0.1. But our laptop, Actually, that is a 1.199. So with the subnet mask, so these two IP address, they are not match. So, but even like this, we can still communicate with this uh, PLC because we are using the direct connect. This is the one beauty of this software. So after we connect this PLC, we can figure out the actual IP address of this uh, controller. And after this, we can change our uh, laptop uh, IP address and the subnet mask. Or we configure the IP address and the download uh, the hardware to these controllers so that we can override this new IP address to this uh, PLC. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.